guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be doing another hair color review with semi-permanent dye. If you're new here, my name is Bavika. At my channel, I talk about anything and everything, and an obsession of mine is to try out different hair colors on my naturally dark hair because I don't want to bleach it, but I also want to... Um, you know, be able to have fun colors in my hair. So I test out different products to see how they would show up on my naturally dark hair. Also, I want to help any of you guys who don't, you know, necessarily want to bleach your hair or just want to have like a little pop of color just to see what the wear is, how it applies, if it's difficult or not. So uh, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the X Mondo hair color by Brad Mondo. So if you don't know who Brad Bondo is, he is a YouTuber here on the YouTube web and he does he's a hairstylist and he has his own line of hair colors and hair products and does a lot of like hair related uh, tutorials, reviews, reactions and such. So if you haven't seen his uh, content, which I'd be surprised if you haven't, but because he's so popular, uh, you can check him out. And um, if you are also interested in other uh, videos that I've done. I have tried out Manic Panic, Arctic Fox, and then there's another video on Strawberry Leopard. I have tried those products as well. I will put a card, link, tag, whatever. You can also find the links in the description as well. So I pulled up his website here and I'm just going to read through what he recommends, instructions, directions, claims, and such. Uh, it does say that the Super Blue Hair Healing Color is the top seller, so I have high hopes for this to, you know, um, come through and be vibrant enough. And so, let's see. It does state on his website that it is for blonde to light brown hair. He does also state on his website that uh, in order to achieve the bright, vibrant hair color, you will need to blonde or pre-lighten your hair, which... I will not be doing but so and then I do find it interesting he does have like a little section here on the website um, in his Q&A that says will X Mondo color cover my gray hair which is great for me since I have lovely grays all over my head so now that we have uh, a little bit of knowledge and you know know what's in store for this let's go ahead and get to the bathroom and start applying this on and before I forget you know don't forget to hit that like button as well as a comment. I would love to know anything that you guys um, would like to see in my videos as well as any information you'd like me to cover that if I don't cover something in particular, I would like to know I'm learning. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well to be notified and the bell to be notified of when I upload new videos. So on to the bathroom. Okie dokie, so we're just getting started with this product. Um, I'm sectioning off my hair, you know, uh, to attempt to be decent at this process. Uh, so one thing I will say about this product here, it is very thick, but it's not thick in a bad way. It doesn't slip through your fingers or like slip out of your hair. It really does adhere to the hair, but when you work with it and apply it, it works through the hair really easy. You don't have to sit there and massage it all the time to make sure everything is coated. Like you can get a section done and move on to the next. So I did like that about the product. Um, another thing about this hair dye is that there is no chemical smell to it. To me, it smelled very uh, fruity. So it wasn't um, overpowering at all. So it did make like the process pleasant to to apply as well. Another thing he did recommend uh, on his website is to use a comb to really comb through the dye and the hair to make sure everything is saturated and all the strands are covered. And when I did that, it didn't pull or tug and it didn't like dry the hair out. So I did find that really nice to do because it wasn't um, a hassle to really like get the product through there in terms of how the product uh, stains like um, counters and skin it does stain it's not terrible it really 
only took a few days, few washes to get it off of like uh, my hair and my body. Uh, one thing I do recommend is if you have a cleansing balm for like makeup removal or skincare, that helps removing the hair dye off of your face and like ears, neck, wherever it may land. It just gets it off mostly. Sometimes you have to go through with the second time. But I would recommend that as like a little tip to uh, remove staining off skin. And here, I'm just gonna wait the 20 minutes and uh, let it process, and then I will be back. And here we are again. Uh, this is the final result of the hair. Uh, my hair is definitely darker, which I was expecting with it being a blue. Um, I do see like a blue tint to it, and um, looking at it, uh, with my little handy dandy mirror, I can, my white hairs have, my grays have definitely been coated and they're, I actually like the way that this looks. It kind of makes it look like I has like some tinsel in my hair. I'm going to get really close up. Hopefully you guys can see. But yeah, I, I, I do really like how the, it covered my grays and it like kind of gave it that like like little pop of color. It picked up more than I thought based on what he was saying on his website. Um, so happily surprised with that. So I would definitely recommend this product. Uh hey guys, I uh, just wanted to give you a update on the Brad Mondo hair product. Um, it's this video isn't exactly how I thought it was gonna go. I thought uh, using the hair color, it was great initially. And I was like, okay, 1000% recommend. It's great, it's fun, it does enough. But then a couple weeks later, I realized the product was no longer in my hair. Um, after about five washes, the hair dye completely just ceased to exist in my hair and I was a little disappointed because like the product's not super expensive, but it is like $28. And with the amount of time and effort put into, you know, doing my hair and having it in, I expected more longevity out of it. And that's not what I thought. Uh, I'm sure there's some hair science to it about like how the hair needs to be bleached or needs to be lighter or something. It just didn't seem to adhere uh, to the hair and I know nothing about hair science or anything scientific about hair. I'm, that's just what I'm going to assume. Um, but I didn't feel like it would be right if I didn't tell you how it lasted through the hair after the initial application. So I did want to be honest about that. I would say if you're looking for something temporary fun for like a couple washes, yeah, it's fun to try. Um, but for me as like a long-term hair color to have for like a couple, couple months or so, like other products, I don't think that this is it. Unless you do something chemically to your hair to, I guess, make it adhere more or you bleach it or anything, it's in my opinion, not worth it for a longer period of use, especially for the price. Um, that being said, if you are looking for something temporary or something just for like a couple, uh, like a couple weeks at most, sure, this is a great product. Like it does deposit color into the hair, but if you're looking again, like for long term, for months on end, I wouldn't recommend this product. Uh, yeah, I unfortunately I was a little disappointed too with it, but I know that I can't be too disappointed because he does say that it is for like up to like light brown hair ish. Um, so this is a product I would say to like manage your expectations of, because if you do have darker hair, like my hair color, even maybe like a dark brunette, uh, I don't think it's gonna last for you guys. Um, it doesn't last for me. Every 
everyone's hair is different, so it could be different for you. But I did just want to let you guys know this and let you know the outcome of it after a couple weeks. Like, there's nothing in my hair. My whites are like full blown white again. So, so yeah, I just wanted to give you that little update there. Um, and we're going to return back to the pre-film stuff. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you gave this a try or how it turned out for you. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I know I probably didn't cover everything in this video. If there are things that you do want me to cover uh, in my videos that I don't, please let me know. I'm happy to include those in uh, my next videos to come. Uh, also, don't forget to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of all new videos once I get them posted. And if if somehow, you know, you find this video, Brad Mondo, um, hopefully I didn't do um, a terrible job at applying your product and I hope that this wasn't too harsh of a review of it. Um, and thank you for creating a product. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you at the next one. Bye!